In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the brand new color wheel inside of Rebel 7. We're going to drag from the name and we're going to look at some of these different options. Now, color is very similar to music. Just having a whole bunch of different notes played in a row doesn't make for great music. And just having a bunch of colors put on the screen or put into a painting doesn't make for a great painting. You have to have good colors that harmonize the same way that you have chords and chord progressions, color has similar properties. And when handled correctly and handled with good tools, can make for really beautiful pieces of art. So one of the things that the color wheel inside of Rebel has here in the sliders option of the context menu, you see HSV. This is hue, saturation, and value. You can see these right here. There's a lightness slider right here as well in hex. These options can be turned on and off. In addition to HSV, there is HSL, which is hue, saturation, and luminosity. Now using these different color wheels allows you to adjust the properties that you're trying to adjust. Now one thing that I think is really special about Rebel 7 is the inclusion of HSLUV. This is hue, saturation, and luminosity, and this is a human-friendly color wheel. Uh, so what that means is, as you look around the outside of this wheel, notice right over here the color. As it shifts, it's not getting brighter. So when you're looking at values in your painting and you're trying to create depth, value plays a very significant role. So if I put here these different colors, you can see all of these have a very similar brightness. Let's bring this up and bring it over. Notice as I move through, these have a very similar brightness. So if I press G on the keyboard, look at this. This is fantastic. We can change colors without changing the value, the perception of depth, bringing images forwards or backwards in the painting. Okay, now, here in the new color wheel, you have these options for HSV, HSL, HSL, UV, which I like to call HS love, uh, RGB, which is your standard, which most of us are familiar with, options again to show the lightness and the hex values. You can choose in color wheel to show a circle or show a square. You can turn that circle or square off with the left option here in the color palette. Here in color wheel, you can choose which one you're using, HSV, HSL, or HSLUV. Now the grid, here you can turn on a grid. It'll split up this section into this is nine by nine. You can set it seven to seven, five by five just makes it a little bit easier to pick a very specific color. And on the outside ring as well, you can get that to split that into uh, very specific colors. This makes it easier to pick colors that harmonize. Here in the sliders option, you can turn on what is being displayed as well as choose whether to display lightness or hex values. You see HSL, this L is for luminosity and this L is for lightness. Those are different. There is the history panel right here, color history. You can see that down here. Let's hide these sliders, hide the color wheel, hide the color set, and look just at the history panel. Right here, you can see that we have the colors that we've picked already, and you can expand it to see everything you picked. Now you can create a color set from the last used colors, from a text file, from an image file. This one I think is actually really great. You can choose the icon sizes. You can order the icons by hue or lightness or by default. Let's go ahead and bring up the color library. So here we have different color sets. You can get more of these from you can get more color sets directly from their website in order to go there. 
you can go to favorite brushes, get more brushes. This is going to bring you to the website. Uh, here you can see color sets right next to brushes. If you would like one of these ones, all you have to do is drag it down. I like this Italia set. You can go here, download the color set. You should also be able to drag this file and drop it directly onto the Rebel window and release it. It'll show that an asset's imported and then just restart Rebel. To load a color set, you can just double click on it. Now, when you have pigments turned on, these colors have a lot more depth to them than you can find in other places. So again, pigments, color pigments is turned on. We're going to switch to this blend brush. And what I want you to see is how this color transitions from this very saturated, thick, dark paint through on the canvas. You see this dark, almost black color up here. This is a rich, thick phthalo blue. And then as it's being spread thinner, you see more of the, the white color from the canvas coming through and you can see it transitions. This is the actual color up here. But as it gets thinner, you see that this color has so much more depth to it because of the way that colors work inside of Rebel 7 Pro. This is part of the magic that makes this software so powerful for creating beautiful artwork. Colors need to work correctly and they work better here than anywhere else. A really great feature of the color panel, you can actually import color sets from an image file. I think this is so cool. So we're gonna make a 16 color color set. I really like the colors in this robot concept art by Luke Mancini. So we're going to click open. And look at this color set that we've created. This is fantastic. You can take inspirations from some of your favorite artists, the colors that they choose and use, put them on the canvas here, blend to your heart's content, and make artwork that looks beautiful. Before you even start looking at the lines, the colors are magical. This is a huge win for users of Rebel software. Now there's one more thing I want to show you here. That is this mix colors option. Let's clear the canvas and let's put down a couple of these beautiful colors. Nice subtle variations, these beautiful rich reds. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on this pick color option. This will increment between our colors. So now when I press Alt and I tap, we're getting a color in between moving towards the color I'm tapping on. So if I want to work towards green, you can see I can get there by clicking on the color. It's not jumping all the way. It's making this beautiful progression, which you can see in the color history. Look how perfect that is. All right, let's pick this green. Now, I'm going to deselect pick colors. This is keyboard shortcut X. We're going to put this color down. We're going to press X and pick towards the color that we're clicking on. You can adjust how much this picks in preferences inside this mix color option by adjusting this slider left and right. So when this icon, this mix color icon is on, the Alt key will mix colors and pick towards that color. When this is off, the X key will do that same thing. And the Alt key will pick the color underneath the stylus. All right, you guys, I hope that this tutorial was really helpful and I hope that you gained a deeper, fuller appreciation for how amazing this color panel is inside of her belt. If you have questions or comments, put it in the comment section here in this video. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.